Like Nariko itself, who represents strength and vulnerability, we wanted to approach music in a similar way. We have our big orchestral soundtrack, but we want to add a more ethnic element and marry those two together. There are actually very few musicians in the world who are experts in both areas. Nitin Sonhi is, is one of them. What we're trying to do is get together all of the music that I've programmed, but get it together in an orchestral way with the Prague Philharmonic. The most important thing with each of these pieces is to follow the, the feeling and the mood of what's coming out. This is the first time where I know that very few of the orchestra really speak fluent English, so there's a time lag working through an interpreter. But what's incredible about uh, good orchestras is they require very little rehearsal time just because of the experience that they've got. I don't think I would ever conduct my own material. I don't think I would deal with that pressure very well. Stephen deals with pressure very well and he's been somebody that I've worked with more and more closely over the years. So I think he's invaluable. I was approached originally with, with both images and script and I also went up to Cambridge and spent some time at Ninja Theory just watching some of the animators getting a sense of their creative process. The images and the characters are so self-evident that it's, it's very easy to write music for them. There's an evil king. There's a real sense of foreboding and darkness with his theme. There's a character called Kai, who comes from a tragic background. Her mother was murdered before her when she was very young. There's also the main heroine, Noriko. There's a sense of pathos with a lot of the scenes that she's in. In combat situations, the music tends to be quite epic and has a lot of power to it. There's parts which involve Indian classical music. Sometimes Western classical orchestras are not so used to music that's completely rhythmically based. You have to really get into thinking beyond what is just written. Okay, this, um, this ribbon is from an Indian classical time cycle. So it's just a continuous rolling flavour. <laughs> I think definitely the music has a sense of excitement to it and an energy that infuses it with a sense of momentum. So that's really what I was after. To me, now, PlayStation 3 and Heavenly Sword have kind of produced something that is more like an interactive film, but you know, I never really thought it could get to this level. Thank <laughs> you.